So how can we solve this type of uh, logarithmic equation? Now, remember, since there is minus here, the only method that can work is uh, simplifying this into single logarithmic. But again, simplifying this, it can't work just like this because this is in base 3, this is in base 9. So I have to change this base from base 9 to base 3. So that becomes, so now I'm changing this. So how do we change the base? If I've got log, base A of B, changing this to base C, you write log using the base formula. You write B here, then here log. You write A here, then put C there. So I've changed this from base A to base C. Now using the same formula, I'm going to change this log from base 9 to base 3. So I'll write log 27 minus 2x then I divide it by log, then I put 9. Now I want to put it in base 3, then put the base there. The bottom part can be simplified. 9 can be written as 3 to the power 2. So that becomes log base 3 of 27 2x, divide that by log base 3 of 3 to the power 2. The property of log allows me to shift the power to become inflant. That becomes log base 3 of 27 minus 2x. We divide this. Now, we we'll bring 2 in front, then log base 3 of 3. So log a of a, log of base itself is 1. So that becomes log base 3 of 27 minus 2x divided by 2 because this is now becoming 2 times 1 because log 3 base th log base 3 of 3 is 1 1 times 2 is 2 now again i can't leave it the way it is okay if at all i have 1 over x or let me say i have x plus 1 divided by 2. This is the same as 1 over 2, then x plus 1. So this is the same as this. 1 over 2, then log base 3 of 27 minus 2x. If that's the case, then we also know that the property of log allows us to shift the power, the guy which is in front to become the power. So that becomes log base 3 why am I doing this? I don't want to have anything in front because here there is nothing. Here there is nothing. I want to apply the property of log. So that becomes 27 minus 2x raised to the power half. Anything that is raised to the power half is the same as the square root. So that becomes 27 minus 2x. Now I've changed this from base 9 to base to base 3. Now I can go ahead and plug in. So log base 3 of x plus 4 minus this becomes log base 3 of the square root of 27 minus 2x is equal to 0. Remember we have got these properties. If the base are the same, let's say base 2 of a plus log base 2 of b. If you, are, if you are adding and the bases are the same, you can express this into single logarithmic and that becomes log base 2 of a times b. Same applies to this other one. Log base 2 of a minus log base 2 of b. If the bases are the same and there is minus, then we do what? we do, we divide. So A becomes on top because it has got positive. The guy having negative will come down. So this same principle is the one that I'm going to apply because there is minus. So this, I'm going to follow this. I'm going to follow this property. I'm, I'm going to say log base 3 
because this has got positive up on top then divide it by the square root of 27 minus 2x being equal to 0 as simple as that when I reach at this point now I can I can apply another property converting this from exponential from log to exponential so the base raised to the power what is outside is equal to everything here so that becomes 3 raised to the power 0 is equal to x plus 4 divided by 27 minus 2x now in the square root any number to the power 0 becomes 1 so that is 1 is equal to x plus 4 divided by the square root of 27 minus 2x as simple as that so now when we reach at this point we can cross multiply okay crossing multiply that becomes x plus 4 because here there is also 1 so if I cross multiply x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 27 minus 2x so to get rid of the square root meaning I have to square both sides so this becomes x times x is x squared x times 4 is 4x 4, 4 times x is 4x 4 times 4 is 16 is equal to if I this square root and the 2 will go so I will remain with 27 minus 2x so this becomes x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 27 minus 2x this is the quadratic equation shift everything here to come this other side x squared minus or plus 8x then plus 2x plus 16 minus 27 is equal to 0 we can get rid of everything here Okay. So what do we have? x to the power 2 plus 10 x. Then if I do um, that is going to give me negative 11 is equal to 0. So the product that I have is negative 11. The sum is positive 10. What will be the factors? That should be um, negative what will be the factors if you look at it that should be positive 11 and negative 1 so that this time this that then this time this becomes a positive 10 so x plus 11 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 if you want you can replace direct the, form, the, the method that you know replacing here with what you have this and that but you still get the same one that I'm getting here so this method that I'm using only work if at all I have got positive 1 as a coefficient where there is x squared ok so x plus 11 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to negative 11 and x is equal to 1 so these are the answers now Whenever you are solving logarithmic equation, you have to test the answers. You are going to have what we call extraneous solution. So remember, we will start with this. Where there is x, we are not supposed to have log any base with a negative here. That is undefined. So if I put negative 11 here, that becomes negative. The answer is going to be negative. It should be negative 5. Not negative 5, but negative... Um, negative 6 right not negative 6 so we have got negative 11 plus 4 what answer are we going to get that is a uh, negative 7 so log negative 7 that is undefined therefore this is not part of the solution but if I put 1 it's going to be positive even here to be positive therefore the only solution for this equation is x is equal to 1 that's all so that is it for this type of logarithmic equation.